Really not the video that I wanted to make, but it looks like Tokoloshi is dead. I just finished up recording last Friday's video, the sexy time video with Annie, and as I was preparing to go, I quickly went through some enclosures to check on animals, and when I checked on the Tokoloshi, the centipede, it appears that he is dead, or let me just show you. He is either dead or dying because there is still some twitching. He was moving his antenna a bit, but now he stopped doing that, and you see, I don't know, now it stopped moving. Oh, and you see? He's slightly moving his antennae. You see? Just that. So I don't know if he's just dying or maybe starting to molt. I don't even know how to spot that with centipedes. I have no idea. And I'm scared to move him in case he is really molting, but I'm really skeptical. He's not moving his legs or anything. You see? The antenna is moving. Hmm, let's just do one time jump, just to be sure. I don't know, time jump? Yeah, wishful thinking. As you see, he is definitely dead, still in the same position, and I have no idea what. This is third centipede that died in my care, and even I am starting to doubt my, my abilities to care for them, but honestly, I really have no idea what, what are the things that I could have done differently. The only thing that comes to my mind is more substrate so it can burrow deeply, but still I don't think that that is something that could kill the centipede, and especially in such a short, such a short period. Let me just check for how long I had him. Oh, it's actually a bit longer than I thought. I had him for seven months and before him Devil was the first one and then also while having Devil I got Diablo, but Diablo died quickly. He died like two weeks after I got him. So I was I was certain that he was wild caught and there was something wrong with him from the start because that was really, really quick. Devil, on the other hand, I had him for more than a year before he died. From what I know, centipedes should be kept similar to any burrowing tarantula that requires more humidity. With substrate that is slightly moist underneath, you see, not wet, but moist. Cork bark height, and that's basically it. Just for a safe measure, I even had a water dish, because when Diablo died, I thought maybe, even though his substrate, his bottom layer of substrate was humid, maybe he didn't have enough humidity, and that's why he died. And since he didn't have a water dish, maybe he wasn't able to hydrate himself properly or something, I don't know. But just in case, Tokoloshi had water dish, a big water dish. So honestly, still, after losing three centipedes, I have no idea if that was because of my care. And I'm well aware that there will be individuals that will now use this to just expose me how bad keeper I am. Like, look, he killed another centipede, he got no idea what he's doing, his animals are just dying. But I had 150 other tarantulas and they rarely really rarely rarely die and when i think about it i think that i only lost one adult female tarantula and that was hilobrachis fimbriatus it was in all dark den back when i had like 30 40 tarantulas i don't know but other than that one i think i never lost any adult tarantula of course mature males they don't count because their lifespan is short but centipedes i have no idea i will actually put a pool here and if you had a centipede that it is approximately adult, let me know for how long you had it before it died. I really want to see if I'm doing something wrong, some major thing apparently, or really centipedes don't do that well in captivity, or I don't know, I'm just unlucky. I'm all ears. I'm even listening to all the salty steves out there. Tell me what I did wrong, besides having more substrate. I know that I should put more, but still I don't think that that should kill a centipede in six, seven months. It definitely shouldn't. Regarding temperatures, here in Dark Den it is between 20, 21 at night and 23, 24 during the day. Those are the temperatures here and inside of Tokoloshi's enclosure. I don't know the humidity, but I also don't measure humidity in any of my tarantulas enclosures. I just look at the substrate to determine if I need to add more or less. But there was a water dish that was 90% of the time full. And he also ate more or less regularly. I didn't notice any odd behavior then. He did uh, refuse food for last like two weeks, but that is not uncommon thing generally with other centipedes that I that I observe. So that's all I can say. Let's get him out. I still have oh, even though I know that he is dead, I still kind of don't feel comfortable putting him on my head. Oh my god! 
I still have Devil and Diablo preserved in the freezer and Tokoloshi will actually join them. I'm planning to get that liquid that is used for preserving preserving animals inside of the jar and I think it's alcohol but I'm not sure if it's some, some different liquid I need to figure it out but that's what I plan to do with them. Let me just flip it over to see its fangs. We can actually use this opportunity to see it up close. Those are some mean mean fangs. You see, this is how they would penetrate in your skin. Crazy! I will bring out the macro lens so we can get some close-ups. So we can at least use this situation for something. <laughs> there is there is meat inside of the box. <laughs> let's switch this. Now let's do this. How close can I get to him? This is definitely the closest I have been to a centipede. Check out the mouth parts. This is not practical, damn! Now, here we go. You can see the mouth parts and fangs. You see how fangs are actually under the head? You see? I'm not 100% sure, I need to check on that, but I think that these fangs are actually a pair of legs. Let me just check on that. I don't want to spread misinformation. Oh, he's so, so soft and squishy. I don't like that. Ah, oh, yes. In contrast to spiders, centipede fangs are modified front limbs that end in a sharp point. So there you go, I was technically correct. That is definitely cool to know. Damn, their head is so cool. It really looks super cool and super dangerous. Yep, yep. So I'll put him in some container, take him back home and put him in the freezer until I get that liquid so I can preserve him. Him and Devil and Diablo. All three of them. Now I don't want to end this video on such a bad note. I actually have some cool updates. Just a second. Here are the ghost mantids, as you know. And I need to change the lens once again because I want to show you something. Look, one molted and it is mature. And what's the most craziest thing? You see how big it is? And check the other ones. You see one is here in front and one is there in back. This is how big this one was before it molted. You see this is the... here is actually her old molt. She was really small and now it is already adult. It definitely doubled after that last molt. Which is so crazy to see. And now I'm waiting for these two to molt and since this one is so big I'm not sure if I can leave it inside with these smaller ones. I'm afraid that this one will try to eat those, so maybe I should remove her or him. I don't know the sex, maybe I can check it out. Hey, come here. It molted yesterday, so it should be hard by now. You know, just like tarantulas, when they molt, they, they are really soft and squishy. Here it is in its all glory. Now, how can we figure out if it's male or a female? I think we need to count the segments underneath. One, two, three. Four, five, six maybe, so that means a female? Honestly, I'm not sure for this species. I know that Mantis religiosa, the most common mantis that we have here in Croatia, the males got eight segments. So judging by that theory, this should be a female, but let me just Google. Google knows all the answers. Hmm, I'm getting some mixed information. It says that males have a tall, jagged crown, while females have a forked and structured symmetric Symmetrical head crown. Hmm, but this looks like a tall crown, right? And the other ones, it is kind of hard to tell. I don't know. Either all are the same or... I'm not sure. This kind of looks like a crown. Hmm. Well, this one definitely have it like longer and narrower. I don't know. Do you guys want to eat something? Let's try and feed them. And please, someone who is experienced. This is Mantis number one. This is mantis number two and this is mantis number three. Tell me what sex they are, please. Do you want one cricket? No? <laughs> I would say not. Let's try with the other one. Do you want one? No. It looks like all of them are in primo because they would usually they usually eat without any problem. So I guess soon the other two will also be adults. We will see, I will keep you updated. Now to end this unplanned video. I hope you enjoyed it, not because Tokoloshi died, but because we had opportunity to get nice close-up shots of his head and that is, I think there is no other way to get shots like that, so they were cool at least. Thumbs up, comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. Apple or anything. Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye.